Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question, one important question, one vital question to the survival of our very race. WTF is Duck Game. It's by Landon Publiski, I think. Published by Adult Swim. Adult Swim have an interesting reputation when it comes to publishing in that almost every game they've published I've liked in some way or another and has been somewhat unusual in one way or another. They're very picky about the stuff they publish. It doesn't really surprise me too much because it seems like they're trying to maintain a certain brand identity. And they publish stuff which is very weird, very wacky. Duck Game is that. Duck Game is... Duck Game is Duck Game, and Duck Game is joyous. Alright, so what you're not going to see here is a big selection of options, unfortunately. Yeah, it is a 2D side-scrolling game, absolutely. Don't turn off yet. If you're not a fan of platformers, this is not a platformer. Just trust me. Trust me on this one. Outside of that, you do have some rebinding. It defaults, if you want to use the Xbox controller, which I am using, it works absolutely fine. Or you can just rebind standard keys, which all work pretty well. Nothing really too surprising there. And that's about it. Not much to say. Now the menu is interactive, as you could probably tell here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump directly into a little bit of gameplay. Now start with the challenge arcade. Not a lot to really say about this. This is the sort of lackluster single player mode of Duck Game. This is not where the main meat of Duck Game is. The main meat of Duck Game is in the multiplayer. That is where the true joy is to be found within Duck Game. Let's get the cursor off the screen. I'm sure that's obnoxious. There we go. But this does have a few fun challenges for you to unlock, and you get tickets, depending on what rank you get. And as a result, you are able to unlock things like more hats and gameplay features and so on and so forth. This is uh, chainsaw racing, because of course it is. Yes. What you can do, if you do it properly, is you can kind of slide along with the chainsaw and build up a bunch of speed. What these arcade levels will sort of teach you are some of the wackier and more interesting techniques that are available to you in the multiplayer game. So you'll see how the, the kind of the strange way that the physics kind of interact with each other. Ah, bollocks. And they're all permadeath, so do watch out for that. It takes a little bit of practice, certainly, to get used to it. I'm going to rev that chainsaw up. There we go. And then I can actually get some speed up. There's a couple of levels which are just like infiltrate the base and steal the briefcase and kill all of the targets and so on and so forth. And then there's one which is basically pure platforming, kind of collect-a-thon stuff. And every time you beat an arcade, you unlock a new arcade machine. There's like, there's a good number of them. You can see them all with cloths over them in the in the little level select. That's uh, not bounce there. There we go. Thank you very much. So this is kind of what the arcade involves, and it'll usually allow you to play around with different weapons and things like that and get used to some of the more advanced trickery that may serve you well, potentially, in the multiplayer. There we go. And of course, you get more hats, which is always nice. I got a bronze trophy for that, which wasn't too great. But yeah, as, as kind of neat as this is, and you know, it's nice to have this single player stuff, particularly when they put some good variety in it. This is not the main meat of the game. All right, the meat of the game is the multiplayer. So we're going to try and jump into the online multiplayer mode here. First things first, choose a hat. Very, very important. All sorts of hats available here to unlock. And you can play the single player mode to get most of it. I like Jazz Ducks. Let's grab that and pick my profile so we can track some stats. There we go. Wonderful. And now let's play online and try and find a game. There isn't a huge player base right now. Let me put it this way. Ideally hope that after you've finished watching this video, that you will go and remedy that. Because trust me when I say this, this game is an absolute riot. It is brilliant. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, it is a mix, as far as I'm concerned, of Towerfall, WarioWare, and Smash Brothers. Which sounds a little bit bizarre. You might be thinking, in particular, well, huh. Why exactly would you suggest that WarioWare is a part of it? In fact, some of you might even know, not know what WarioWare is. I wouldn't blame you. WarioWare is a series of micro games. And the interesting thing about WarioWare is that you're thrown into games very, very quickly. And you've got to figure out what to do really fast. And this is very similar to the way that Duck Game works. Because you are thrown into levels immediately with a bunch of different weapons. Some of which you have no idea what they do. And you're expected to survive in a one-hit kill environment. Now, we're just waiting for this fellow to pick his hat. You know, obviously, it's a vitally important choice. Pick your hat, boy. There you go. 
And then we shall begin. Super Saiyan hat. There you go. Pompadour. Yeah. What? There you go. That's good. Okay. Right. Let us fight in the duck game, shall we? All right. You're thrown into these arenas. And you are expected to survive. One hit will kill you. The last surviving duck is the one that gains the point. And then once you have gone through that, you will be immediately thrown into another level. Incredibly rapidly. I'm going to go grab this shotgun. It's one of the best weapons in the level, as far as I'm aware. But of course, if I take a shot, I will die. No doubt about that. Oh! Damn. Reload. Damn. Yes! There we go. And it will immediately kick us onto, a next, onto the next level with this lovely little wireframe transition here. you got to figure out where you are, grab a weapon extremely quickly, and just go. Oh, just dodge that. There we go. You die immediately, as I demonstrated. <laughs> you die very, very fast. Ducks fly across the screen. And weapons often have very, very limited ammo. There's no ammo counter for them either most of the time. So you've got to figure out how much ammo which of the weapons actually has. And you've got to be very careful. Some of it, like that big uh, kind of long rifle musket, require extensive reload times, for instance. And there's smoke all over the place. Oh, Pompadour Duck survived. There is also a quack button. I kid you not. It is vitally important that you utilize the quack button simply because it is used to taunt your enemies. Oh, can we grab him? Oh, no. No. We, uh, okay, no oh, uh, uh, all right. Frozen. Uh, grab him. Grab the duck. No. Oh, uh, uh, just get the duck. No. No. Uh, just, oh. And moments like that occur. He went off the side. I don't think he got the point for it. I think he committed suicide before he scored. All right. Oh, all right. This is the laser level. Okay. So you're rapidly expected to figure out what the hell is going on on these levels really, really fast. Figure out what the optimal strategy is and utilize it. Oh, killed each other. He wins. And of course, the first to 10 is a winner. It is a riot. It is so much fun. There's all sorts of levels to play on. There's a great deal of weapon variety, level design. And the cool thing is every level kind of has a theme going for it. So it means that each level you go on has entirely different gameplay. There's one which has a jazz stage. Half the weapons don't even seem to do anything. They're just saxophones and trombones that you can play. There's another one which has jetpacks and expects you to jet around the place. There's one which is nothing but swords and armor. Oh, where am I? Okay, I mean, oh, bollocks. And it's just rapid fire moment to moment fun. It is, it's the same sort of way, oh damn it. It's the same sort of way that I enjoy things like dive kick because every single thing that you do has a consequence. You can die so incredibly fast that the game is just always so immediate and it's always so adrenaline fueled and ridiculous. And ridiculous is how I would describe it. And yet, it's actually surprisingly competitive. And I just love, the, like, there's little bits of nuance in each of the weapons. Like, you've got to pull the pin on the grenade and then toss it at the right time in order to make it, oh god, he's got the sniper rifle, okay. Oh, dodge it, there we go. Dodge the rocket launcher. Uh, just let them fight. <laughs> they could they could go and fight, I don't care. I'm throwing down banana skins everywhere to make sure they can't get close to me. Oh, I can, oh no, damn it. There's a great deal of skill and strategy involved. It looks random and ferocious and ridiculous and like everything's just chaos, but it's not. There's, a, there's nice little things you can do, like that flap, for instance. And he's got off the side there. You can take a risk to try and flap and just descend at a slightly slower speed, which might allow you to dodge a bullet or something along those lines. You can slide. You can trip over opponents. There's all sorts of crazy stuff that you can do. And there's actually kind of a surprising skill ceiling in this game. That's what kind of, I think, really shocked me about it. I expected it just to be stupid, silly fun. And it is to some degree, absolutely. But there is still a great deal of... Oh, damn it! <laughs> Sneaky bastard. There's still a great deal of skill involved. You can clearly separate the great players from the terrible players, like myself, for instance. It's just so much fun. It's great to play with friends. It's great to play online on your own against other random people. It's great to press the taunt duck button. Anything, anything any game that has a quack button, as far as I'm concerned, is worthy of a look. And I suppose it's kind of the closest that we get to a big arena Smash Brothers-like game. I think, of course, if you have people locally, you can play things like Towerfall. But if you don't, then you don't have that many choices to play with. And Duck Game comes along and says, hey, yeah, we've got online. Play with that. Every few levels, you get a little bit of an intermission here, which will tell you what the current score is. And, of course, it's first to ten wins the game. All right. 
And I grab some armor here, reload this gun. In fact, actually, oh, if I can find the key, where's the key? Oh, it's over there. That's a bit, that's a little bit risky. I'm gonna reload this gun. It's a flintlock pistol. It takes a little bit of work. I'm gonna go try and get that key and maybe get the sword. Sword's really good. I do love killing people with that. All right, I've got the key. This is a risk. Oh, all right. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to get him. All right, what if we, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. That was, uh, that was dicey. All right. Oh, 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 no, no, just, I've got the armor. Do I have the armor? Okay, I've got the armor. Nah, just, no, get away, get away. I need a gun, need a gun, need a gun. All right, I've got a gun. Okay. That was close, that was close. All right, here we go. Oh, I pinged it off his armor, I think. I'm pretty sure I hit him, but, oh, man. It's just so tense and so much fun all the time. It's a giant adrenaline rush, you know. It's hilarious. I mean, there's so many instances where crazy things happen that will just give you a great laugh and make you shout out loud in glee or pure frustration. And that to me is the essence of competitive multiplayer gaming right there. And you get a few friends together on Skype or you get a few friends together on the couch and play this game. And I think you are going to have a riot of a time. I really do. I genuinely believe that. I played it on stream and it was just an hour of us just yelling. You know, the people who were watching were yelling and having fun. I was having a whale of a time. It was quackers. Absolutely quackers. So please don't overlook this. Like, don't think this is some kind of gimmick YouTuber bait game. It really isn't. It's actually highly competitive and completely ridiculous. <laughs> Stuff like that happens. It just, it, it reminds me of why I love video games in the first place, you know? It's such immediate moment-to-moment -moment crazy action that makes me feel excited 100% of the time. Gets your heart rate up. Mmm. Damn, it's... I think, that, I think that's an Earthworm Jim gun, isn't it? That's a reference to that. Oh, man, it's so good. I, I, I'm certainly hoping that they continue to update this game with more content. You know, th this game lives or dies by the number of levels and weapons and scenarios it has. And as it stands, it currently, at least for me anyway, has enough. But obviously, I haven't played it for that long. So it is entirely possible that it might end up getting boring after a while. But this is my smash. Oh, this is my tower fall. This is fan-freaking-tastic. And there's just so many little subtleties in the design just to make it a little bit trickier. Like the lengthy reload times on certain weapons. Ah, like being able to fall off the level. Like the fact that a lot of the more powerful weapons have some kind of disadvantage like recoil, which might knock you into a, an area that you don't want to go into. The fact that it's easy enough to kill yourself more so than anything else. The fact that you have to remember to pull the pin out of the grenade and then th toss it before it kills you. I mean, I've seen people toss the grenade and they haven't pulled the pin out. So it's like every little weapon has a learning curve, but the cute thing is you don't actually, you don't have time to learn. That's the great thing about it. It just, it tosses you in and demands that you immediately adapt to the situation. Now, unfortunately, of course, in the online, there is a little bit of lag. You see that guy up there has about 200 ping. So if you get about, above about 200, you do get some latency. There's no doubt about that. But I just, just those little cool moments. It, you, you remember uh, Nidhogg? I really enjoyed that as well. But to me, this has got a great deal more longevity. I mean, it's, I, I love the, the four player battle royale style that's going on with it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Get out of here, you bastard. No, I'm on fire. Sonic hell. Now I'm frozen and now I'm dead. Did everyone die? Everybody died. Perfect. Oh, it's magnificent. It's magnificent fun. It really, really is. I like the fact that they put some effort into the single player. So you get unlocks and you can do little challenges and train that way. But like I said, the meat's in the multiplayer. If you have some friends to play with, this is an absolute no-brainer. Even if you don't, even the, just the standard matchmaking is good enough. You will run into some people who are a great deal better than you, but it's a frantic free-for-all. So even those guys can end up getting screwed by a wanton grenade or something going in their general direction. And I've... Oh, damn it. I've, I've just got to love the sheer variety of carnage and chaos that's on offer here. It's a multiplayer spectacular is what it is. It really, truly is. I love this game so far. I'm having a blast with it. And I certainly hope that you guys will as well. Do give it a shot. It's available, I believe, for about $10 on Steam during the launch sale. Then it goes up to about 12 or 13 The only thing that I would say about it, outside of kind of the fairly lackluster single player options is the fact that they don't sell a four-pack. So this would be an ideal game to sell a discounted four-pack with. 
It would encourage people, of course, to get their friends together on Skype and just yell at each other. But this, it reminds me of days of old, like playing GoldenEye on the sofa, or things like Time Splitters, or even things like Death Tank on the Sega Saturn. That sort of thing. That kind of competitive couch gameplay that is perhaps in a less healthy state than it used to be, which is a little bit of a shame. It never really was too big on PC, of course, but oh my. Thankfully, we have Duck Game, which, as it turns out, is great. It does have a couple of multiplayer bugs. Oh, he's, I have seen a little bit of lag from time to time, which has, of course, caused something of a problem, but outside of that, the game is a riot. It genuinely is. It's so much fun. I, I think I had the, the my favorite stream of the year so far. Just plays. He's been walking around. He's on a mine! <laughs> so, I have a favorite stream of the year just playing this, and everyone watching was having a riot of a time as well. You know, it's it's great. It really, truly is. It's so much fun. Please do give it a shot. I don't think you'll regret it. I, I genuinely don't believe that you will. There's a, there's a lot going on here. There's a great deal to like if you're into these crazy competitive games. Yeah, he's on fire. Screw him. Oh, so am I. Damn it. Is there an extinguisher anywhere? I, I, oh, damn. None of us get the points. This is what multiplayer gaming is all about. What the hell's going to happen here? Oh, random Christmas presents. Okay. What do we get? I need a gift. Oh, that was dynamite. Okay, I've got a sledgehammer. There we go. Get him. Yes. No. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna go play more duck game. You should play more duck game. Duck game should be a part of your life. And if it's not, I mean, I want you to just stop and think as to why. I mean, do, do you hate fun? Is that, is that what it is? Because I bloody love fun. And this is exactly what this is. What kind of emotional connection do I feel to duck game? Yeah, it's the emotion called joy. That's what it is. God, this game's bloody brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Please do give it a try. Oh, you are really doing yourself a disservice if you don't. Duck game, ladies and gentlemen. It's just pure hype. That's what it is. It's available on Steam for $10 or your regional equivalent. My name has been Total Biscuit. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.